just blaze up the fire. Blaze it till the morning. Blaze up the fire. Blaze it till the morning. What's up, guys? It's Ross the Reverend here with another video. Um, want to thank you guys for coming back to the channel. Uh, the support I've been getting is amazing, and I, and I wouldn't be here without you guys. So, really appreciate all the support. Uh, today we got a video against UFC three tips and tricks. Uh, he's a great guy. He's been helping me a lot. So shout out to him. I'll put his uh, link to his channel in his, the description. He's a good player. Um, but today I'm using Andre Bishop. He has Curtis Blades. We're in the heavyweight division. And my game plan for this one, I already know. I just want to box, and he's gonna try to take me down. Here, see the first takedown. We deny that. So I, if I just keep my uh, my takedown defense solid here. I should be able to win. Uh, Curtis Blades is not the best on the feet. And Andre Bishop, as you know from Fight Night and all those games, is a legendary boxer, man. So we deny it again. Um, have that top position there, but we want to get up. We want to keep it on the feet. Go southpaw here. When I go southpaw, I like to look for my kicks. Looking to land that rear body kick right on the liver there when you're in southpaw and an orthodox against an orthodox fighter. He's throwing that overhand. I'm making a mental note of that. And I'm just trying to mix up my combination to stay unpredictable. See, we're digging into his body every here and now. But here, look at this. We're going to slip to the outside and rock him with a straight to the lead hook. And keep in mind that, that sway right there. It might be a good weapon for us to use again. And here, we're going to use that sway again. We're going to slip to the outside. He throws the overhand. We're able to sway away from it. Hit him with a moving straight. Rock him again. We're just going to try to put some pressure on him. But we're not looking for the finish here. I don't want to try to get him out of here this quickly. He's a good player. He probably will catch me if I, I'm getting too aggressive. He lands a nice kick there. He's moving his head too. So I'm trying to vary my strikes to cancel out his head movement. If a player is moving their head a lot, as we rock him again, that's straight to the lead hook. You need to vary your strikes. If they're moving their head to the sides, throw hooks. If, if they're pulling back, throw straights. If they're ducking their head, throw uppercuts. You could, there's, each strike has a counter to the head movement. So just keep in mind, pay attention to what tendencies your opponent has. See, I move southpaw again. I'm going to look for that uh, those kicks right here. Yep, boom. Land one there. Dig into his body, mixing up our strikes. He tries to land his own. We're throwing that straight to the body as well. It's a good punch. Made another rear body kick there. We're really trying to dig to his body there. Trying to unload a little bit. Switch back to orthodox. He tries to land that overhand again. I'm not, not leaving myself too open for it. But yeah, guys, like I said, make sure you uh, check out UFC Tips and Tricks channel, man. He makes great videos, great great tutorial videos um, really is knowledgeable of the game and, and has good breakdowns on his channel I, I, I love watching his videos man uh, I'll leave his link in the description like I said but nothing really going on here we're just trying to end the round we're both smart players so we're not gonna really go for broke at the end of the round here we're able to dig to his body there with that straight to the lead body hook fainting in good round for us think in the second round he wants to come out and really establish his grappling he didn't really get a chance to he stood with me a little bit too long in that one but if you're enjoying the content like always don't forget to leave a like it's very appreciated and if you're new don't forget to hit that subscribe button man we're gonna have a lot of more content coming uh let's get back to the fight see he we show respect at the beginning but i know he's gonna want to try to get this grappling you see tries to get this driving takedown here so we're just gonna be patient I know he likes to fake and be technical in here. He moves to the single leg. Switching up. He, he knows I'm waiting on that takedown. We deny that first one. Stay impatient. We're going to look for an opportunity to, to get to a, a good position. He guys me in tie here. Goes for a takedown here. We block that one. You know, Jorge Mazova, I would say he, this guy's trying to put his face in my crotch here. But uh, we're able to reverse the position and get out. He's trying to grab my legs. Trying to put his face in my crotch illegal rock him with an up uppercut there follow with the uppercut to the body to the lead hook moving ahead a little bit trying to trying to stay tactical here even though we have him substantially hurt but I already know if I'm trying to chase the knockout something bad could happen so I'm just gonna try to stay patient 
making each other miss like Shaq shooting free throws there. Both missing overhands, big time, airballing. He's moving his head, being slick. Lands an overhand on me. I'm trying to move my head, be slick as well. Land that big rear body kick. That's the kick I was talking about. When I go southpaw, I like to land that rear body kick. Get a body rock there. Able to land that big overhand. We faint and catch him trying to throw another one. The accuracy on Andre Bishop, like 007, sniped him. Oh. Uppercut from health to end the fight. He ducks down into it. And Andre Bishop's walking around like he just murdered somebody's family. Let's take a look at this again. Here he ducks down into my uppercut. This is what I'm talking about. By every head movement has a counter. But um, let's take a look at this one more time. Ducks down, boom, takes a knee like Colin Kaepernick. Then he gets tired from protests and takes a nap. But uh, yeah, go check out UFC Tips and Tricks channel, man. He's been a great help to me, great guy in the community. Makes a lot of great videos. If you really want to get better at this game, go check out his channel. Um, but thanks for coming, guys. If you haven't already, leave a like. Uh, comment down, up, down below who you have this weekend. Uh, between Robert Whitaker and Israel Adesanya. It's going to be a great fight. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. It's been your boy Rasta Reverend, and I'm out.